Hi, I'm Rob and in this Gems of War video I'm going to take a look into next week and tell you what is going on in the world of Gems of War. Always good to know what is happening in the following week because you may want to hold on to some of your gems just in case something really important is happening. Anyway, Confucius, he say, man who go to bed with itchy butt, wake up with smelly fingers. Yes. Anyway, Next week we have a new world event, of course. This one is the Song of the Sands. And it's a skull and spell damage event, so we can make a really cool team with that, knowing we're going to get a maximum 160% skull and spell damage from our troops. So I'll be doing a team for that on Monday. At the same time, Monday, we get the chance to get another troop. There she is on the screen now. It's the Orpheus Priestess. It's a quite an interesting sounding spell, this. It's Desert Rose. Give all other allies a quarter of their mana and cleanse them. So not her, just everybody else. But they get a quarter of their mana. That's actually quite a lot. And a mana heavy team, that can be a hell of a lot of mana in one go. So this troop could be actually pretty useful. She uses blue and yellow with a mana cost of 11. The traits are, number one is human bond. Allied humans gain two life. Number two is revered. All allies gain two random skill points. And number three is alert, immune to silence. Also starting Monday, of course, we have a new Soul Forge. So I'll be doing my Soul Forge review video on Monday, giving you my recommendations of what weapons and what troops, if any, you should craft from the Soul Forge if you so desire. As well as that, we have the next part of the campaign. Let's take a look. Free pass actually is not bad. Some nice stuff, some cursed walnuts, some gem keys, glory keys. Not too bad at all. It's actually better than the um, first paid for pass on that little bit there. And same again on the second part. Some cursed walnuts, gem keys, glory keys. Glory keys are really good. You can actually get a mythic from a glory key if you're extremely lucky. So yeah, not too bad at all. Now the kingdom of the week next week is Leonis Empire. And this is interesting because the Event chests are where you can really take advantage of this because the event chests right now are Shentang. But what this means is when you open event chests right now, the time I'm making this video, you can only get troops from Shentang. So when this changes to Leonis Empire next week, you can take advantage of this. And the way you can do this is we'll take a look at our troops. We'll change kingdoms to Leonis Empire. You can either look for all or basically look for the ones that you're missing. If I click unowned, I'm missing nothing. So basically I will gain nothing from opening my event chests next week unless I wanted just more and more duplicates. So you can show um, unowned, uh, owned rather, and then um, take a look. But the point is, if you're missing any mythics, for example, and the ones that are available here are these. Voice of Orpheus, Flame of Anu, Dao, they're not too bad, nothing fantastic. Voice of Orpheus is really good because I love that for that cleanse. Cleanse all allies when matching yellow gems. So if you're missing any of these mythics, you can grab them from your event chests if you get a little bit of luck. On Tuesday, we have a faction assault in the City of Thieves. So a chance to earn more shards, open some more portals if you need to, get that horde level up and do some more delves in here. On Wednesday, it's pet rescue time, and it's Alex's turn to be saved. A dice, a d20 needs rescuing. Very bizarre, but hey-ho. And if you like treasure hunt, this is pretty good for that as well, because you get extra turns in a treasure hunt when you increase the bonus of this at levels 5, 10, 15, and 20. And pets are not to be underestimated. As you progress in the game, a lot of your kingdoms will be locked by the fact you need to have certain pets from certain kingdoms at level 20 so do not ignore the pet rescue on thursday it's class trial time and it's war priest that is up for this the traits are pretty good reduced damage from skulls by 40 percent is nice wrath of arnu is okay 50 percent chance to stun a random enemy at the start of my turn and the talent trees are the things you'll want to get up here when you get this to level 100 there's some okay ones depending upon your play style but Ultimately, all these are worth getting to level 100 in the end, so why not pop in, grab some more free XP towards it if you don't have this on level 100 yet. And on Friday, we have a raid boss event. 
Now, bizarrely, Terran's World is showing two different Godslayer troops at the moment, so we have no idea which one is going to appear. Igneous is there, which is one we have at the moment, but also a new one is being shown, Sable Spiritbane. This is a new Godslayer from Valpatia. We don't have it at the moment. Some interesting troop, though. Illusionary Strike is the spell. Deal magic plus four damage to an enemy, and if they're a boss, deal three to five times damage as the Godslayer based on my ascensions, and then drain five mana from them. Hopefully that last part about draining mana would be wasted, because the idea is that they would be dead. Uses blue and purple mana at a mana cost of 12. The three traits are arcane, gain one magic when an ally casts a spell, fox cunning starts battles with 25% mana, and of course, godslayer, deal three to five times damage versus bosses based on my ascensions. But like I say, Igneos is listed there as well, so no idea what God Slayer is actually going to appear for that raid boss event right now. So there it is. There's the spoilers for next week. That is for PlayStation, Xbox, PC, and mobile formats. And of course, those things can change. They change at a moment's notice sometimes. It can happen, not very often, but just making it known it's not absolutely set in stone on all those things. There's a video, if you enjoyed it, found it useful, helpful, any of that kind of stuff, be really cool if you bash that like and subscribe button, it really does help. But most of all, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.